Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Sonic Adventure Blast 2 for Xbox Dev Mode. Before we begin, you will first need your Xbox to be in Dev Mode and you will also need to be using an external drive for this setup. This does not work for the internal folders. And please keep in mind that this only works on Xbox Series S and X. This will not work for Xbox One. For those that do not have dev mode set up, I highly recommend checking out the playlist down below where you can find all my dev mode related content. Now let's get right into it. All right, bet. So the files that we need is we need the SAB2 1.0 MSIX bundle, the dependency needed for this application, and also the SAB2 USB folders. If you guys are in my community discord, you can find the USB pre-made folders there. For those who are not a part of the Discord, do not worry. I'll still show you how to get all the files properly right now. All right, so you can find these files at the Xbox Dev Store. The name has been changed. It's xbdev.store. You can find the link down in the description below as well. So for those who are having issues getting onto the website lately, that is the main reason the name has been changed. All right, so once you get here, all you got to do is at the top, go to the Games tab. We'll just scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Sonic Adventure Blast 2. Instead of downloading it here, we're gonna go to the official page. And once you get here on the right side, go to releases. And right here's the SAB2 UWP. First off, I wanna give a big shout out to Whirly DL for this amazing port. For those that love Whirly DL's UWP ports, I highly recommend going to his Ko-Fi and leaving him a donation. I'll have that link down below as well. So the first two things we're gonna get is right here the SAB2 1.0 MSIX bundle. Select this and it should start downloading. And then also we're gonna grab this dependency right here. So select this as well. All right, so once we download those two files, we're almost there. Now what we gotta do is from this link up top where it goes to the turtleman64-sab2, we gotta select this link here. And then once we get on this page, go to the releases. And what we're gonna do is download the 1.0 zip. All right, so once you have your three files, first thing we're gonna do is set up our external drive folder. All right, so for this Sonic Adventure Blast 2 1.1, right click on it, and we're simply gonna extract this. Once you have extracted that folder, go right into it. And then now you should see a settings folder and a res folder. Now inside of here, we're gonna right click, go to new, we're gonna create a new folder. Name it SAB2. All right, so if you hold the control key while you select the settings folder and the res folder, you should have both of them highlighted. Now right click on it and select copy. Now we're gonna go into this SAB2 folder that we just created. Right click inside of it and select paste. Now, once these files are added into it, we have set up our external folder correctly. Now at the top left, select the back arrow. And then now what we're gonna do is simply highlight this SAB2 folder and drag and drop it into our external drive for our Xbox. All right, once that's finished, at the top left, select the back arrow again. And then you can simply delete these two folders because you do not need it anymore. And now we're going to go into the device portal so we can upload our application. For those that already know how to use the device portal, please skip ahead. For those who do not, I will be showing you an example of how to get into it right now. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right. Now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. 
And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. All right, bet. So once we get to the Xbox device portal, all you got to do is underneath my games and apps, click on add. Now open up that folder that we had all our files in. And now what we're going to do is simply drag and drop that SAP2 MSIX bundle right into it. Select next. And then now we're going to select the Microsoft VC libs. This is the dependency needed. And then select start. All right, so once it says package successfully registered, click on done. And then now we're going to head back to the Xbox. We're going to do one last thing for our application. And then we're going to test it out and you should be good to go. All right, bet. So now that we're on our Xbox, first thing you want to do is look for the SAB2 UWP. Press the select button. Go to view details. Make sure to change this from an app to a game if it isn't already. And if it's already set up to a game, then just please ignore that. Make sure your external drive is plugged in and then press A and let's start it right up. It might take about five seconds on the first launch. And just like that, you installed Sonic Adventure Blast 2 on your Xbox Series S and X. And that's pretty much about it. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure to give it a like, comment if you got this working. And if you guys need any other tutorials, please let me know down below. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one.